And that formation on first down and some play action. And incomplete. Richardson and Cunningham, the wide outs on second down. To the fullback for maybe one. Wilbur to the air on third and long through the hands of Steve Gardner incomplete. First and ten for the Owls from the Michigan State 41 yard line. Alfred Morris to the 38. Second and eight. Morris offset and the give to Alfred to the 37 yard line. Third and six, and that is Morris next to Graham Wilbert. Flag on the snap. And they are pointing at Chris Newbold's replacement, Eric Hansen. Ball start. Offense. Number 51. Five yards. And that's the guy that just checked in. Yeah. Third and 11 now. Wilbert. The pocket pushed in on him, and he finds Richardson to the 34. That will still be a few yard shot. Morris puts his head down. Gets across the 25, and there certainly is a good payday to go on the road to these places as well. And there is the first sack of the season for Michigan State. They didn't get one last week. High expectations for that defensive front. Dropping it off underneath to Morris. Caught from behind after a short game. It's Graham Wilbert who replaces Jeff Van Camp this year. Sweep to Austin Morris, and Max Willis snuffed that one out, the middle linebacker. Grandfathers, fathers, uncles. We'll have a little brother that'll be here next year. Also a rich tradition of family members, including his mom, who attended Notre Dame. Third and in the handoff. He'll be shy of that first down marker. Willie Floyd, the long setback. They will give him the ball. And then the guy that his teammates called Grandpa. Hotter and hotter under Mark Richt as they look for a big win today at Georgia. Richardson, the quick hitter, now to the 34-yard line. Floyd stays in the backfield as Cooey has moved the chains for the first time today. Pitch it to Floyd. Penn State doesn't have a top 10 win since 1999. Up against third ranked Alabama and Cooey going down. That's the second sack of the day. The official statistician informing us that there are two timeouts left for Michigan State. Third and 22 FAU. With a draw to Morris wrapped up by William Golston. Final play of the first half. Through this game, but secondly, you don't want to give up anything that you may use or need down the road to win a big game. So right now, it may not please the fans that much. This has been a dominant performance to this point by Michigan State. FAU has gone back to Graham Wilbert at quarterback. I thought in some ways they'd compete better against Michigan State because last week the speed of Florida sort of overwhelmed them, but they were better offensively against Florida statistically. On third and eight. And another punting situation for the Owls. Graham Wilbert under center for FAU. Still with just the one first down. And 28 yards of total offense. So. I'm really impressed, though, with the Michigan State defense. What they're doing today is extremely impressive. FAU is just struggling to make yards of any type. Yeah, the time of possession today. 31 minutes for Michigan State, 11 minutes for Florida Atlantic. With a couple minutes to go here in the third, Wilbert. He threw one way, and his receiver cut his route a different way. Well, as a coach and an AD, I, I think generally you want to try to do something that's going to appeal to the fans. If you have three or four non-league games, typically, in my mind, it'd be one up where you're Ducks went one up last week in their loss to LSU. Thank you, Ryan. Ohio State trying to save things and a turnover forced.
forced by the Michigan State defense. Spartans still on the move. And they're going to score on it. Jeremy Langford picks up the loose ball and takes it home. FAU does not have a lot of luck today. <laughs> Only 48 yards of total offense. They've got a couple of sacks. They force a turnover that gets them a defensive touchdown. <laughs> David Cooey. Cooey looking for a deep ball and incomplete. Look at the redshirt freshman out of Detroit. He's back in coverage again. And another sack, the third of the day defensively. 44 to nothing over Florida Atlantic. Their final tune-up before they head down to South Bend next week. And then we'll jump into what promises to be a very challenging Big Ten schedule. This is how things have played out today. Just the one first down for Florida Atlantic, 41 total yards, and the time of possession, 41 minutes to 15. Those numbers right there are unbelievable. 425 to 41 total yards of offense. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a football game. Korea quarterback. And off for a couple of yards. Here's Ryan Burr with an update. Well, Ryan, uh, we're both uh, guessing that that next game's going to be a lot closer. Two uh, pretty good quarterbacks, Zach Caleros, Tyler Bray, in that Cincinnati-Tennessee matchup. They combined for seven touchdown passes last week. In a resounding 44 to nothing shutout of Florida Atlantic. Second opportunity, second victory. On track for what they want to accomplish.